right now I'm playing Call of Duty with a couple of my friends, you know, and I'm just killing the usual. Talking about your involvement in gaming right now, I mean, I saw you have a Twitch page, not quite as active as your other social media accounts, but um, yeah, I mean, at this point, how are you involved in, in the gaming world? I started playing Call of Duty, I want to say 2000, I was in high school, just it's a while back. Kind of got away from it, you know, I was playing Madden, things like that. So during the pandemic, I started back playing. I was bored, I had nothing to do. I was inside with my kids all day. They was getting on my nerves, crying, all this. Started playing on Plunder. I got addictive. It was addictive. I'm not gonna lie to you. Playing, that's all I do. I go go to practice, come home, watch film, and hop on a game for a couple hours. Did you ever anticipate or did you ever have the thought that that game or or just gaming in general would present these kinds of opportunities uh, financially and, and otherwise? <laughs> Never in a million years. You know, we, where, I'm, where I come from, you know, you don't get opportunities like that. You don't see that. So by me having this, this is a complete blessing. You know, it was very surprising, out the blue. It's like football, you get paid to do something you love doing. I love gaming, I love football. So this is a big thing for me. Do you see a crossover between the brand that you want to build in the gaming world and the brand that you build in the NFL? Yeah, definitely. Like, you may not know a lot of guys in the NFL, we, everybody games. So I think it'd be way bigger than what it is. Because a lot of guys, you might not know who games. The only person who doesn't games, you know, and I think it's he's kind of old, you know what I mean? Because I see, I can see that it was Tom. Tom don't game like that, which I respect because, you know, he's 47 years old. You've chosen to work with Complexity in this case. And I'm wondering two things. Number one, why you made that decision. There's a lot of companies out there, a lot of different orgs that, that you could have chosen to go, to go with. And number yep. two, only half joking, seeing that it is owned partially by Jerry Jones, to people look into a, a greater relationship with the Dallas Cowboys? It fits me, and I, uh, a lot of those guys, such like Tim, who I know is a big gamer, he's one of the best, uh, I know him, you know, and it's just a family fitting for me to be here. And also, you know, Miss, me and Mr. Jones, we go way back, he's a good guy, you know, uh, I mean, why not? It's an ongoing thing, it's gonna get bigger and bigger and better, so I figure why not, that's how. A couple other questions. Uh, hopefully we can get in before you finish the, the rounds here. We have to end on Rebirth. <laughs> so if I'm understanding you right, you think that's not just going to be a short-term trend, that that's long-term and, and something it's that you want to be involved with? It's definitely long-term. Gaming is forever. I've been gaming since I was seven years old. So now that they made a platform where you can kind of make money off it and boost you, it's the smartest thing to do. Just to show you some proof. Uh, yeah. Just one. <laughs> Okay, you got the receipts right there. <laughs> That's pretty good. Outside of football, if you got questions about where should you put your money or investments, you got guys who been lead 12, 13 years. Just ask questions because, you know, we always have our, like, our little therapy sessions as a teammates. And we just be mm -hmm. talking about life goals, what we want out of this, things like that. Understanding that now that I'm older, young, the younger me probably, I probably wasn't really worried about it too much. But now that I'm older, I have my kids, my family, I'm trying to get money off and on the field. I'm trying to I'm trying to know what to invest in. You have all that around you. You know what I mean? So I don't take it for granted at all. I ask questions day in, day out. I don't care what it is. It could be it could be the littlest thing, but it's not the dumbest. So I mean it's so much to that, man. I'm not gonna lie. Complexity is the way to go, you know. I advise anybody if you're looking for a family, a home to be, complexity is the place. Come join Lenny.